So I'm out here in front of this restaurant, right? Because I got the brilliant idea that I was going to give the woman who I think could possibly be my soulmate, you know, the one, I was going to give her an ultimatum. I was going to let her know that I'm willing to walk away from this relationship if she doesn't get her act together. Because although I may be falling in love with her, I love me more. <laughs> and first. So here I am. And, and let me tell you something. I did not think I was going to make it here today. Okay? I thought the universe was trying to tell me something to stop me from getting here. Because from the moment I opened my door to my apartment, to the moment I got here, things were insane. Well, a lot of you know, you were there with me. You, I remember you. I remember you a lot. You need to stay away from me. Anyway, um, I'm going to tell the story of what happened to me to the rest of the people who weren't there, the few of you. But I'm going to need your help because so many things happened to me that, that I, I can't possibly remember all of them. So when I gesture to you, please... Shout out the first thing that comes to mind, okay? It doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. It's just going to help me to remember what exactly happened because it was so bananas. Are we cool with that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are we cool with that? Yeah. Well, that's what I thought you'd say. All right, good. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? So I'm in my apartment, and I'm putting on my, what will from now on be known as my best ultimatum outfit. And I walk to my door, open it, and all of a sudden, I see this giant alligator, right. pink elephant, pink elephant alligator combination. <laughs> and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, that's the weirdest sort of trunk with like teeth that I've ever seen in my life. And, and it's tearing up the city. It's running up and down, and then it gets tired because it's part alligator. So, and you know, they fill up with that stuff. Anyway, so so I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to save the city, but I have to get to you know my ultimatum restaurant date. Right? So, I, I, I remember that I have my trusty pineapple. pineapple sausage, right? And I whip it out, and I start waving it around. <laughs> hey! Alligator elephant thing! Look at me, I got a pineapple sausage! It's delicious! <laughs> right? It looks at me, and as soon as it looked at me, I began to feel dizzy. Squishy and insecure. <laughs> because, you know, when you feel squishy, uh, those extra pounds around the middle there, they start to bring out your insecurities. And, and uh, I'm vain. I'll admit it. So I'm feeling squishy and insecure, and, I, and I'm standing there, and, you know, I, I, I put down the, the pineapple sausage, and it's charging for me now when, bam, out of nowhere comes this. Cockroach iguana! I live near a weird zoo. So the cockroach iguana comes charging at me, right? And I think it's going to do something to me, and it stops in front of me and it says, Avocado! Nico! <laughs> okay, yeah. And it says, No, my name is Nico! I'm like, Oh, dude, I thought you were calling me Nico. I was like, What? I mean, it's kind of cool, but whatever, it's Steve Seagal. Anyway, so, I, Nico is standing in front of me, and he says, get on board! So I jump on Nico's back, and we take off, right? And the alligator elephant thing is closing in on us fast, right? When, at that moment, out of nowhere, I see this famous person. It was... Oprah. 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 Justin Bieber! <laughs> Seems to be a recurring theme these days. So I see Justin Bieber... And he's sitting there, and he's surrounded by Twinkies, and he's being all standoffish and kind of like in a daze, and he's like, I'm hungry. And I'm like, listen, Justin, there's like this elephant alligator thing chasing us, all right? And, and um, the, the uh, Nico says, Nico! And I'm like, no, that's, it's Justin Bieber. And he's like, I know, but I just, I like to shout my name at everybody. I'm like, okay, that's great. Right? So, all of a sudden, it steps on Justin Bieber. Uh, Nico and I really relished that for a second. And then we kept charging, right? We're taking off, and, and he's right on our tail, and, and, and right as he's closing in on us, I, 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 I felt very... Fragile. I felt very fragile. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it had nothing to do with witnessing the murder of Justin Bieber. 
I began to feel very fragile because all this running around affects me in, in, in many ways. And I said to myself, I said, self, yo! Because my inner self sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Conan the Barbarian. Yo! And I began to pray to Krom. I said, Krom, in my inner self voice, Krom, you have to help me. I have to get to my girl. Krom yelled back at me. He yelled, Take the taxi! I said, Okay. Sorry, Nico. I got off Nico, held out my arm. But it wasn't a taxi that pulled up, it was a... It was a giraffe hippo! Or maybe it was just a giraffe that had a lot to eat. There were some weight issues, a thyroid thing maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, so the giraffe hippo pulls up in front of me, I get on board, because, I mean, what else are you supposed to do with a giraffe hippo, right? So I, I'm sailing down the street, and we crash into this... Blackboard dumpster with Tupac in it! <laughs> And I'm like, man, I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> that was no hologram, thug life. <laughs> yeah, you hide. And he said, yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I, we, we get attached to this dumpster thing with, with Tupac in it, and we're heading down the street. We're barreling towards the restaurant. I mean, who knew the, the giraffe, uh, the giraffe hippo thing? knew where the restaurant was, right? So we get there, and just as I'm about to go inside, out of the heavens lands in front of me this Jamaican truck. And they were pretty cool, man. So like I hung out with them for a little bit, right? And they were like, hey man, have you seen our friend Justin Bieber? I was like, uh, I don't have time to tell you what happened to him now, but you're not gonna like it, or maybe you will. I'm not sure. Said goodbye to them, and that's when I arrived here. Wish me luck.